Hey hey everyone, it's G here in Cali. Welcome to my daily health tip. Guys, it's Monday. It's Monday, January 22nd, 2018. Woohoo! So today um, I'm sharing one, one of the article. I'm gonna share, I'm gonna give you guys seven ways to boost your metabolism. So again, um, if you follow me, you know the um the, these articles that I cover is in my Healthy You page. The link is in the description. You can go there, grab the article for yourself. So let's talk about seven ways to boost your metabolism. So are you if watching the video, you're watching the replay, are you trying to lose weight? Is is that is that one of, is that your one of your resolutions for this year? Are you are you on a journey um to lose weight? If you are, throw me a one in the comment and say or say yes. Let me know if you're trying to lose weight, okay? Because these tips are gonna help you in boosting your metabolism because the, one of the things to losing weight is you we know we gotta boost some metabolism, right? So let's talk about seven ways um tips to help you boost your metabolism okay can you make your, your, your can you make your metabolism better boosting metabolism is a holy grail of weight watchers everywhere but how fast your body burns calories depends on several things some people inherit a speed of metabolism men tend to burn more calories than women even while resting and most and for most people metabolism slows steadily after age 40. although you can't control your age gender or genetics there are other ways to improve your Improve your metabolism, and here we go. So, you guys ready? Woohoo! Build muscle again. With what well, I'm sharing, seven tips, seven ways to help you boost your metabolism. So number one is build your muscle. Your body constantly burns calories even when you're doing nothing. This resting metabolic rate is much higher in people with more muscles. Every pound of muscle uses about six calories a day just to just to sustain it, while each pound of fat only burns two calories so muscles your muscles is burning six calories a day just to just to sustain it where fat is burning only two calories a day so this is why you want to build those muscles the small difference can add up over time after a session of strength training muscles are activated all over your body raising your average daily metabolic rate so build those muscles twice you need at least minimum twice a week two two two, two times a week of strength training only 20 minutes a day that's it only 20 minutes per session so 20 minutes take if you can schedule 20 minutes for twice twice a week to, to work on your muscles to build those muscles okay so again tip number one building muscles is going to help boost your metabolism uh, so next tip is step up your workout aerobic exercise may not build big muscles but it can rev up your metabolism in hours after a workout the key is to push yourself. High intensity exercise delivers a bigger, longer rise and resting metabolic rate than low or a moderate intensity workouts. To get the benefits, try a more intense class at the gym or include short bursts of jogging during your regular walk. So step up, step up your workout. You know, go. You, you can go to the gym, do a Zumba class, etc. So stepping up your workout, you know, um, it's going to help you boost your metabolism. Okay. So that's tip number two. Tip number three, fuel up with water. Your body needs water to process calories. If you're even mildly dehydrated, your metabolism may slow down. In one study, adults who drank eight or more glasses of water a day burn more calories than those who drank four. To stay hydrated, drink a glass of water or other unsweetened beverages before every meal and snack. Also, snack on fresh fruits and vegetables, which naturally contains water rather than pretzels or chips. Okay, so drinking water, Keeping your body hydrated is very important because when you don't, when you when you're dehydrated and, and you don't have enough water in your body, that is slowing down your metabolism. So step three, so tip number three is fuel your body with enough water. Drink drink enough water. Make sure you're drinking water. Um, number of, um, four here is should you try energy drinks? Some ingredients in energy drinks can give your metabolism a boost. They're full of calorie, full of caffeine, which increases the amount of energy your body uses. They sometimes have taurine and amino acid. Taurine can speed up your metabolism and may help burn fat. But using the drinks, these drinks can cause problems like high blood pressure, anxiety, sleep issues for some people. The American Academy of Pediatrics doesn't recommend them for kids and teens. So if you're gonna, if you um, so yes, yeah, sh should you drink energy drinks? Yes. But the thing is, there there are side effects, um, blood pressure, anxiety. There there are side effects of drinking energy drinks. Now, 
the ones the red bulls the monsters i don't recommend those um you know not good for you too much too many high the high sugars artificial you know things that are in those so i don't recommend those so but i can recommend something for you energy drinks that i drink that are natural weight where, where you don't have the jitters you don't have those side effects so um yes yeah, so energy drinks are great but again you know it's the kind you're drinking you, you got to make sure you're selecting a smart choice a, a, a smart energy drink that's not going to um have any side effects or artificial ingredients etc so again you can certainly message me i can share with you what uh, what i recommend for you if you if you want if you think you need you know if you're lacking energy you need some energy throughout the day certainly message me and i can share something some information with you that can help you get natural energy okay uh snack smart this is tip number five eating more often can help you lose weight when you Eat large meals at many hours in between. Your metabolism slows down between meals. Having a small snack or meal every three to four hours keeps your metabolism cranking, so you burn more calories over the course of a day. Several studies have also shown that people who snack regularly eat less at meal time. So, which is true. So, every three to four hours throughout the day, you should be eating. You have your breakfast. Two hours later, three hours later, you have a snack. Then you have your lunch. You know. And you have a snack and you have your dinner so you show you show but again it's about what type of snacks are you using i mean are you are you selecting you have to you have to you know be smart with your snacks so healthy snacks fruits you know snacking some peanut butter and celery um apples you know um fine yogurt find healthy snacks to to, to snack to watch your meals so again that's going to help boost your metabolism when you eat and then you wait too long before you eat again before you eat again that actually slows down your metabolism okay so that was tip number five got two more six spice up your meals spice up your meals spicy foods have natural chemicals that can kick your metabolism into a higher gear cooking foods and tablespoons of chopped red or green chili pepper can boost your, your metabolic rate the effect is probably temporary but if you eat spicy foods often the benefits may add up for a quick boost, spice up pasta dishes, chili, and stews with red pepper flakes. So adding those those little um, peppers, you know, to your meals, that's gonna help boost your metabolism. But again, everything is balanced. You don't want to overdo it. Okay. So this is tip number seven. This is this is my last tip for you guys today on boosting your metabolism. Your body burns more, many more calories digesting protein than it does eating fat or carbohydrates. As part of a balanced diet, replacing some carbs with lean, protein-rich foods can boost metabolism at mealtime. Good sources of protein include lean beef, lean turkey, fish, white meat chicken like the chicken breast, um, tofu, nuts, beans, eggs, and low-dairy, low-fat dairy products. Those are all examples of protein. So yes, when you um, power up with your, power up with your protein, that's gonna help boost your metabolism. So keep that in mind, guys. So just give you some some um, examples of protein, how to get more protein in your diet: um, lean beef, turkey, fish, white meat, chicken, tofu, nuts, beans, eggs, and low-fat dairy products. So there you go. So that was tip number seven. So there you go. I shared with you guys um, seven ways, seven tips to help you boost your metabolism. So now. Message me or, 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 you know, contact me if you'd like to know. I have three more. I can share three more tips with you, three more ways to help you boost your metabolism. So if, if you want to know what the three additional tips are, reach out to me, message me, and I would be more than happy to share with you three additional tips to help you boost your metabolism. Your metabolism. So if you're trying to lose weight, you definitely need to learn, know how to get that metabolism, how to boost your metabolism. So guys, so that's it. So for today... I'm here. Um, this video is gonna be my healthy you page again. The description to my healthy you to my healthy you page is in the description of this video. I did a video today on my healthy you page where I, I was make I made my uh, my breakfast smoothie. So if you want to see um the smoothie I made this morning, smoothie is gonna help you burn fat all day, uh, and help you curb those cravings. Then go to my healthy you page and the video is there. I did a video today, um, live video showing you as I was making my smoothie so go go to that page the, the link is in the description and, and check out the video if you want a, a great smoothie idea to help you burn fat all day and help with those food cravings that video is there in, in the healthy you page